It's their red, white and blue festival at Codna in Derbyshire. It's a day out for the family, they say. But this year, hundreds of people turn out in protest. The police stop them from getting to the event, but an undercover journalist is there. He captures this footage of activists burning a gollywog. He thinks he's not black. <laughs> he's charged with being black. Yeah, get on there. <laughs> and the BMP's response? Considering this country is drifting towards Sharia law via an Islamic republic, the burning or alleged burning of a doll in a field in Derbyshire isn't the most pressing of matters. I started this film with the intention of giving the BNP a fair crack of the whip. I wanted to find out what their policies were, why people voted for them and why they were gaining in popularity. I got close, too close for their liking. They didn't want me to question why. Why they were opposed to mixed race relationships. Why they wanted to encourage non-white British people to return to their ancestors' country of origin. And why you can't be a member of their party unless you are white and British. I meet a lot of people in my line of work, but what I don't do is I don't define them by the colour. I don't go, he's black, he's white, he's Pakistani. But when I see this flag, that's when I see those people, because it's all those races that make up this flag. They're all British. But there are some that say that this flag should only belong to those who are white. That's what I think the BNP wants. Thankfully, it's not the country that I live in. It's not what made this Britain great.